Yo, what's going on guys, Nizion here, bringing you another video on the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you the best possible 70,000 coin team in FIFA 22. But before I get started, if you guys aren't new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and turn on notification to keep up with all the quality gaming content under 10 minutes. Now, without further ado, let's get started with today's video. So as you can see right here, this team is a 4-3-3 fourth variation. And this squad is a very versatile squad. You can use it in the 4-2-3-1. And my personal favorite, the 4-2-2. It's a very, very good for formation in my personal opinion. A lot of different pro players also use it. The 4 triple 2 is just a very great formation. So if you're looking for that, you can do this. If not, you can change one of these players and then make it into a 4-3-3 or 4-3-2-1 formation team. So we're going to start off with the first player in the back. We have ourselves Samir Handanovic, a very solid goalkeeper, 6 foot 4 high rated. That's all you really need and a very solid goalkeeper in this squad. Now moving on to the right back position, we have ourselves Denzel Dumfries. Now why I chose him over the likes of Cuadrado is because he has six foot two high medium work rates. This guy is an absolute powerhouse. If you put a shadow on him, gets his defending stats up and already his physical stats are um, unbelievable. I mean, 94 uh, stamina with almost 90 strength, an absolute monster of a card. And all you need to do is put a shadow on him and he's probably the best right back that you're gonna be using for that rating. Now we're going to move on to the right center back position. We have ourselves Milan Skriniar, 6'2", medium high work rates, 4-star weak foot, a very, very good defender. I put a catalyst on him to maybe bring the passing and the pace up. But besides that, a very, very solid player. And honestly, there is really no weakness in this card. Now moving on to the left center back position, one of the favorites in the FIFA 22 game and ultimate team in general, Eder Militao, 6 foot 1 medium medium work rates. This guy really does outplay his stats in game. He's an absolute monster of a defender and he is very very good at getting the ball back and intercepting the ball. If you want to put an anchor or a shadow on him, whichever one that you floats your boat and makes you feel more confident you can play with. Just overall a very solid center back. But now moving on to the left back position, we have ourselves Renan Lodi. High medium work rates, a left footed, four star skills, three star weak foot, and a very agile uh, full back that action can really catch up to a lot of pacey wingers, especially if you put a shadow or a anchor on him. Now moving on to the right center mid position, we have ourselves Nicolo Barella. High, high work rates. He is kind of like a cheap budget Conte of some sort just because he has a very very good uh stats in game and also he has very well dribbling like he can really pass the ball well and dribble with the ball very very well and he's nimble and can intercept like some players like Conte for example and that's why I compare it to him but obviously he's a very very good player for about two three thousand coins now moving on to the left center mid position, we have ourselves Federico Valverde, six foot high high, again kind of similar to Barella, but just way more faster. Uh, he does have better passing in game in my personal opinion. He has good short passing and long passing, which makes him a solid center mid and overall just a very, very good player to have. Now moving on to the central attacking midfield position, we are playing Dybala, Paolo Dybala, left footed, four star skills, three star weak foot, medium, medium work rates. This card is my favorite gold card in this game. He is an absolute monster. He scores uh, too many goals, like for this card, he's just scoring an unbelievable amount of goals game after game, and he does it consistently. And that's why I really think this is the best gold card in the game. But now moving on to the right wing position, we have ourselves Federico Chiesa, high medium, four star, four star, 91 pace, 81 shooting. Some say that he's the best right winger in the game, at least gold right winger after maybe Salah or something, but he still has better weak foot than Salah. So a lot of players still play Chiesa over those high rated players for a reason, and it is definitely justified by this card. His finishing is unbelievable in game, and putting something that can get the passing and shooting up maybe is the only thing we need to do. Now moving on to the striker position, we have ourselves Latoro Martinez, high medium work rates, four star, four star. If you put a hunter on him, he will really score you a lot of goals, not as much as Dybala, but still he has very great finishing, especially if you put that hunter on him, he will get 95 finishing and an absolute amazing card. He's already fast enough and with his build and body type, it makes him really good on the ball as well. And that's why I chose him in the striker position. But to finish off this team in the left wing position, we have a very underrated player player 
in my personal opinion, we have ourselves Eden Hazard. Medium, medium work rates, four star, four star. Even with a hunter, he is an absolute monster. Now, from the winger's point of view and playing this in the 4 triple 2 formation, you need someone like Hazard that can also play like a central attacking midfielder and that's what he can provide you, you know, with those stats, with that dribbling, with the 4 star, 4 star, he's very, very good and he can also score a lot of finesse shots. I don't think, yeah, he also does have the finesse shot trait as well as some other players as well in this team, but he's a very, very solid player and in game, how we play this team and how it looked like is if you from switch the formation in game to the 4 triple 2 you'd play Latoro left striker, Dybala right striker, and Eden Hazard on the left or right, doesn't really matter, and you'll have your CDMs as Valverde and Barella, and then your defensive line, which just makes this team a very solid and good, well-balanced and well-priced team for each position and category. For around 70,000 coins at the time making this video, there's really no question that this is one of the best teams in the game, and I really don't see you finding a better team for this for the price. Now that's been it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please be sure to leave it in the comment section down below. And let me know if you tried this team out for yourselves and also all these players are concept because I sold them uh, previously just because the markets are crashing day by day. So I really didn't really want to keep and lose money on these cards anyways. But overall, a very, very good team. And hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Like I always say, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave it in the comments. I'll be catching you guys all in my next video. Peace out.